Hi there. In this QuickBooks Online video, we'll quickly look at uh, custom deductions and remitting those deductions from uh, paychecks. So I'm going to quickly log in. And I'm going to choose payroll, employees. I'm going to quickly add a new employee. And I just hired her today. I'm going to add my own email just so I can see the type of messages we get. I'm going to quickly add her TD1 information. And her social insurance number, I'll quickly copy and paste from what I have. And I'll add her address. postal code and I'm done with her TD1 she's uh, a very basic employee no dependents so just the basic amount and we pay her every Friday starting this Friday and she makes $25 an hour she works Seven hours a day, five days a week. We also pay her overtime and double overtime if she works more than eight hours or 12 hours a day. She, we accrue her vacation. So that as we add it to each check and we put it into a payable account, for when she takes a vacation. And I'm gonna quickly add some custom deductions here. So these, um, this is custom medical and dental that we pay to a third party uh, insurer. So this is other, I'm gonna call this medical. So this is an extended medical deduction and we charge she pays $20 into it per check. And I'm also going to add a custom dental. So other and other and dental. Flat amount, $15. She pays a maximum of $420. Per paycheck per year that is maximum of 420 per year so I'm done with her deductions and I've already added WCB for office workers to this company in a previous video so she's all set up so I'll choose done um, and I'll quickly pay her for this week There she is there. This is for um, 11th to the 17th. And I'm gonna pay her 35 hours. And I'll submit. And 
and um, if you had pre-printed checks with a check number, you could add that number here. I'll just quickly add an arbitrary number, check number three, and finish payroll. So if I look at my trial balance, which is under reports for my accountant, So that check was generated as of the 17th. So I'll quickly increase my span here to the 20th. That should include that. So you notice that we have payroll liabilities, medical and dental. So when it, when it comes time to pay that, we would exhaust this full balance for those two accounts. So I'm just going to imagine that we're paying that now. Um, I'm going to pay it on, uh, for example, the 17th. So we just choose expenses, expenses, new transaction, expenses. We choose the third party that we pay that insurance to. So I've got a new vendor called Fairchild Insurance. It's coming out of my Royal Bank checking and they may have um, an invoice number or an account number. And this is as of the 17th. So for the category, we just simply choose that liability account. So we have dental, which was $15, no tax, and medical, which was twenty dollars. That was dental and medical. And same close. So that's uh, custom deductions, deducting them from a paycheck as well as remitting them. Thanks so much for watching.